What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode two of this Master League with Real Madrid. If in the last episode I sounded really tired, it's because I was actually sick for about two weeks. Still trying to recover that right now. About 90%, so we're just going to go ahead and continue on with this Master League series. Just a couple of changes, changes here. Fabio Contrao on the left back. Um, that's pretty much it. Casemiro, yeah, just that one change at the moment. We're playing our very first La Liga match against Celta de Vigo. And it is a night game. Once again, I do not own these custom logos, custom kits, and custom stadiums. Okay, so Celta de Vigo, I'm expecting them to play a very defensive game near the end. We need to make something happen early, uh, put pressure on them. Uh, they're moving the ball. Well, they're forcing us to move the ball a little bit. I, I missed Benzema once again, giving him the cross a bit too late, about five, four or five seconds late, I would say. Benzema right there. Could have given the ball, but try to play it safe. Okay, let's try to. Looks like Benzema's. No. Good at cross. A bit too high. Back to Modric. Casemiro. Carvajal, okay. Overran that play. Back to Casemiro. They're pushing us really back right now. Um, they're holding a pretty deep defensive line, but their midfielders and their forwards are pushing up, which is quite refreshing. He's through Bale. One extra touch, and I couldn't finish. We've already wasted almost a full first half just to see. And not too many goals on target already, but they... Celta de Vigo will be running the counter-attack. And that is it for the first half. Not too much action, not too much... Well, there was basically no goals at this point. 71% possession, one shot on target for us. 85% um, passing. Second half, here we go. Nice triangle passing. Wow, I actually got to him. Good block by Kavra Hall, forcing a corner kick. Now, corner kicks, you actually do man match, uh, man marking, zonal marking, or mixed. So, a bit of both. But that's an easy save for Navas. Easy catch. Start the fast break. Counter attack. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible pass. Guidetti, I think. He played for Man City, I believe. Alright. No one's stopping Carver Hall, so he's just going to cut him up. Nice slide tackle. Just trying to hug the sidelines right now. Stretch out those players. Ah, we can't cross it there. That's a bit too much. Should have made a move. At least force a corner. Okay. Okay, let's try to take the ball from him right now. We're nearing the 60 minute mark already. Can I get the cross out? No. Overshot it. Not a bad idea, though. Gonna bring in Hamas Rodriguez with a new team player role, apparently. Or smart player role, whatever you want to call it. Let's press them a little bit more here. Referee believes that's a clean play, but we gave the ball back anyways. So there's no difference. K 
okay. They're basically bringing back eight, nine guys to, to clog the box. Got two guys in the middle, two players in the box, but uh, I think I'm going to pass on that cross just because there's too many bodies right now. I have to hit him with a counterattack, but I'm just waiting too long for these crosses to come in. Nope. No shot available. So right now we really have to push up to make something happen here. Gareth Bale shoot it. But it's deflected. Um, should have done a better job at least. Maybe a shot on target would help. I'm gonna bring on Essencio for Modric. Okay, no, we're not getting the ball. This is a lot tougher than I expected, I mean. I'm still struggling. This is like semi-assisted already passing. Okay. There's nobody inside the box, so we're fine. Or not. He overshot that one. Then they... It's offside, but he also did, tried going for a 360 header. Doesn't Doesn't really work. Double substitution for Celta de Vigo. We got less than 10 minutes left. So. We got hit in the clutch. Give it to him. Right. Oh, no. Never mind. He didn't make the run. The header. It's too weak, though. Benzema is completely drained. <laughs> oh, God. Drained of stamina. And that's how bad it is right now. You gotta give me something, man. BBC is giving me nothing right now. Casemiro, just take the shot, buddy. Not enough oomph on that one. Not enough oomph. But then again, he's not a striker, so. We don't have much time left right now. We gotta get the ball back. Maybe try to go for the net one more time. Two minutes at a time. Foul substitution is Diaz for Benzema. I mean, Benzema is basically limping right now. He doesn't even want to be subbed off, but he's got no stamina left, forcing my hand. One more shot, that's it. I think we're done after this. Probably going to be a draw. No points earned. Well, one point earned, I guess, but we're going to try to contend for the league title. Drawing your first match is just not good enough. Oh, yeah, never mind that. That's it. That is it. It is a nil-nil draw, one point per team. I just have to play better. Given this much firepower, it still can't score a goal. Come on. 65% possession, three shots, two on target, 85% pass completed. Still got to do better. Man, the match is actually Fabio Contra. I don't know about that. I think Casemiro... Might have deserved that one. Match day one. Atletico Madrid won their game. 1-0. Barcelona loses to Real Betty. 1-3. Wow. That's that's pretty surprising. Espanyol wins. Um, Valencia wins. Sociedad Deportivo draw. So that's it. We're actually ahead of Barcelona, which is sitting at 16th. We're sitting at uh, currently at 11th right now with a draw. One point tie with like three or four different teams. Valencia is actually up top with, I think, goal differential. Contra has now mastered skill training marking. Yeah, so Asensio is playing out. He's not really playing out of position. He's pretty much an attacking midfielder. Sometimes he plays winger, but I don't know about that. We're going to advance. Well, someone wants to uh, buy some players, no doubt. Ronaldo has suffered an injury during a match. What did he do? He should be back at some point during September. Not only did I draw the very first match, I lost my best player. That is just great. To be fair, when I played FIFA last year, Cristiano Ronaldo missed, I think, also about five to six weeks, but uh, I can't complain. 
So their national teams are up call. Well, they have international duty very shortly. So we have, I think, 11, 12 players for that. So we're going to be losing most of our players to international duty. That's where the depth will come into play. We're going to fast forward to the next game. Match number two of La Liga. Or not. Um, There's some sort of transfer activity going on as well. Lucas Vasquez has received an offer from Bayer Leveskin. And Danny Carvajal has received an offer from Tottenham Hotspurs. And I'm not selling either of them. So it's a no-go, folks. It's a no-go. Going to have to reject it and negotiations immediately. And Vasquez played, I, I felt he played very well in the preseason in real life. So we're keeping him just in case. Uh, Scouting. It looks like they recommend Neymar, but uh, Barca's definitely not selling him. So we can forget about that. We should add. I guess more scouts around the world enable them to travel, look for some depth, maybe. Scouting is definitely a big feature if you plan to play Master League for more than one season. So if you plan to play it for two, three, four, five, six seasons, this is a mandatory uh, chore, if you will. I mean, some people love going through scouting go through the scouting process. Some people don't. Me, I don't know. It depends. Um, most of the time, I do only play one year, sometimes two. So it's not going to be a big deal. Ramos is fulfilling an ambition. Well, I would hope so. He's a team captain. And who are we playing next? National team squad announcement. So that's not too surprising. We actually have 13 players that will have to be reporting to international duty. Of course, Ramos has been selected for the Spanish team. Um, Nobody's retiring, I hope, so let's move on. Fans will give your player nicknames based on their performance. Nice added feature there. We're playing against SD Ibar. Marcelo is looking forward to this match. Uh, since Ronaldo is injured, we're going to play Hamas on the left wing. And aside from that, not too many big changes. We're also going to add Kiko Casilla in between the pipes because he is up for his form. is For whatever reason, in form. He's a little arrow, diagonal arrow up. Um, so just basically two changes for the starting eleven. And here we go. Summer star sightings. Okay, well, that is completely different. It's basically an ad for Pez. They're introducing the Barcelona legends, I believe. We'll see how that goes over time, but that's basically for my clubs, I would say. Real Madrid versus Ibar. Let's get to it. So I expect Ibar to play similar style to Celta de Vigo, but uh, giving Bale that much space is a bad idea. Great shot, but just misses the post. Great run by Bale. Look at that. Cutting through two, three defenders right there. That space in the middle is what we're looking for every time on the counterattack. Let's try to continue to look for space between the midfield and the back four. If we can continue to do that, we can exploit the spacing and put a lot of pressure on the center backs, especially if the center backs are a bit slower. That's a bad pass. Got lucky there. Now, Ramos shouldn't really be venturing too much forward. I mean, I need him just in case. That's got to be a foul, right, ref? I mean, yellow? Or not. The referee's just telling him off, saying, don't do that again. This is a final warning, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I felt like that should have been an instant yellow. Let's check it out. Yeah, I didn't. 
he got a piece of my leg first, to be fair. Okay, so, Tony Kraus, let's try to cross this thing. Woo, bicycle kick. Bicycle kick. Morata. That's too fancy, brother. Bale. I can't get it to... Ooh, I can't get it to him. He made a late run. Morata didn't actually run in the box immediately. So he's gonna just... Pass the ball around first. Try to find... Ooh! He's offside, I think. He's just offside, but... He should have finished that anyways. Look at that. Lefty. Weak foot, I believe. He's right-footed, right? Slide tackle to break up the play. Not bad. Back heel. Nope. Good idea, though. Murata is definitely not as fast as Benzema, but... Oh, Bale. He had to finish that one, man. That was a... That was a gimme. That was a gimme. Great pressure. Great through ball. Um... Yeah, he should have finished that one. That's a terrible pass. Still trying to get used to the, the whole mechanics, um, but they're picking us apart right now with that cross. Get it out. What is he doing? Don't play around inside the box, brother. Carver Hall. Why would he chest it, though? What was that? Okay, we got a couple of minutes left before halftime. Let's try to push up, get a shot in there, and just, just hope for the best right now. We're, we're not getting it done. Um, yeah, losing the ball doesn't help either. One minute added time. This, this is where long balls will come into play, but we don't really play long balls all that much, huh? Still nil-nil. We've already laid an egg in the first match, so... Let's not repeat that. Five shots this time, one on target. 85% passing, 71% possession. About the same as last last game. Not too much difference. A bit more shots. We got to really test the keeper. The keepers are not doing anything right now. They just sitting down, enjoying the sight, enjoying the fans. We really need to put them to the test. Give them that cut. Give them that cut. Oh, deflected. Could have passed the Morata too, but uh, with Bale, gonna go for it. Casemiro. Oh, he should have finished that one too. Casemiro. Come on, man. I know you're a midfielder, but you got to finish those. Okay. He's got the. No. If Morata would come down to get the ball, he would have got a clear shot on that. And Bill has, has to test the keeper. Nothing comes of that play, though. All right. We played 70 minutes of regular time. Oh, my settlement that run. Gave it to him, Morata. Hey, where's, where's the penalty? Where's the foul? Or taking him up. Benzema, a back game. We need some speed. We need some pace. And more importantly, we need finishing. Whew. Come on. We're bringing on Asensio for Marco. Uh, Tony Kroos, not Marco. Marco Asensio for Tony Kroos. And uh, look at that big gap in the middle, man. We got to feed the ball inside. We've got to. Wow, what a what a pass. Make that run. Make that run. Come on. Come on. There isn't much time left. About five minutes. They're gonna go for the counterattack. No, never mind. Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's dies the entire body inside and come on. What a cross though. Forcing a turnover. Cross was outside of his left foot. Look at that. Hamas is just diving, diving inside. We've got to take him out though. Stamina having an issue. Um, Hamas having issues with stamina. Vasquez, I haven't played with him too much, but we'll see what he can do. Essentially, just pushing the ball. 
Benzema was a foul ref. Come on, he's taking out my knees now. Come on. Give him that card. Give him that card. Come on. Don't do me dirty. Right there. What is this? A scissor kick? Come on. Okay. Asensio can't really shoot free kicks, but uh, let's go short. Kick it back out and then maybe lob it in or something like that. Let's see. Oh my goodness. He didn't make the run though. Was not ready for the pass. The seconds are ticking again. They're defending, I think, with eight guys now. So left wing, left wingers and right wingers are just staying up top for the counterattack. But we got to push it. Come on, Modric. Oh, overplayed that one. Shouldn't have ran in. Two minute out of time. And that is it. We laid another egg. Another nil-nil draw. That's one additional point. 68% possession. Casemiro with the man of the match. 6.5. Not happy with this. Not happy with this performance at all. Sevilla beats Granada. Valencia beats Villarreal. Uh, Sociedad beats Espanyol. Barcelona draws with Malaga. 1-1. Uh, Celta de Vigo even wins. So... Barcelona is actually one point behind us at 12th place. We're at 11th still. We need to make something happen. Got to play more aggressive. I'm still trying to adapt to Pez, but um, hopefully we can get some results shortly after. You have a Champions League. We're with Tottenham Hotspurs, Ajax, and Vowested, I believe. Not a bad group. Um, I like my chances. And Messi wins best player in Europe award. award. And that is it. I'll see you next time.